Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel Oracle DB Online Training. So in this tutorial, we will be looking at how to uh, how you can apply any uh, OEM 13C agent patches uh, step by step. So this tutorial will basically guide you through uh, the process of uh, patch apply on any OEM agents. Okay, so normally what happens that we we apply the patch on OMS and after that we have to apply the patch on the agents so this is a, like a two phase process that you have to apply the uh, patch whenever someone says like you have to uh, do the patching on the oem uh, cloud control console or uh, oem cloud control 13c okay so the first step we have already covered in the previous tutorial if you haven't watched that tutorial please go through it and uh, then after that you can follow this uh, tutorial so before we uh, begin further i'll request all the new friends to please do subscribe our youtube channel and uh, there are a lot of contents to learn okay maybe in coming days uh, i'm going to um, enroll the membership program so that all the active members will uh, get full access and uh, if you have any queries regarding uh, our tutorials uh, you can just reach me out on this uh, contact number given over here and email id also and uh, please do uh, follow me on social media platform for in for purchasing any uh, courses you can always uh, reach to our website where you can uh, you can buy all all the products like ultimate full course that we have where we have covered almost all all the topics in detail from the live session and uh, this one is um, basically the documentation so if you are if you are interested about our documents on youtube please uh, you can directly purchase these documents from our websites okay so coming back to the uh, today's agenda like how you can perform the agent passing so I'll, I'll walk you through the steps that you have to do and this is the document that we have to follow so, so first thing uh, whenever you have to do um, OEM uh, agent passing so you, you will require the one uh, utility called the agent patcher along with the agent patcher you also need agent, agent patch okay so suppose our uh, OMS server that is the main centralized repository database server where the patch is already applied so if you see we have recently applied this patch and uh, oem 13.5 and release update 10 that was uh, previously applied on the oms server so the same uh, version of the patch that we need to apply on the agent uh, setup so this is one of the my setups where uh, where the agent patch is or i mean agent is already up and running and we need to apply the new patch on the agent so that the uh, this gets synchronized with our OMS server so what are the things that we need to take care in this we will try to understand so one is that we need to uh, download the latest uh, patch set for the agent so this is the document diary that you can check where you will get the patch so i already downloaded this patch by following the document id also you require the agent patch as the tool that through through which you you will apply the patch on the agent so these two things is already in place. So I already downloaded and placed on the server. So let me just show you that quickly, like what are those two patches? So these are the two main patches. One is agent patcher, the small file, if you see here, 800 kilobytes. And this one is a 56 MB file that is going to be the agent patch. So both the files are in place. The next step will come, you need to very first uh, export the agent home. So your agent home is nothing but the agent, which is running on the, on that server so we already exported this one but still i'll do, what i'll do i'll just you know execute this command from the oracle user so now we are in the agent home location and here we can run the agent patcher version since this is the uh, first time i am applying the patch there is no agent patcher present if uh, if you have previously applied any patches on the oem agent so you you will find out there is a some file exists so ls patches is also not applicable in our case So the next step that we need to do is we need to first go to that uh, patch location. This is our patch location. So what I'll do, I'll copy this uh, location from here and then I'll do the CD command to this. Okay, and then after that, I, I'll need to copy these files to the agent patcher home. So now if I go back to the previous location where my <coughs> patch was kept, so sorry, on the agent home location so here we need to unzip this file so that agent patcher file will get created so now if you see there is an agent patcher directory get created where it is so we can just you know go to this path so agent patcher is now it is 
created. So we can just try to run this command here. Agent patcher minus less patches. So agent patcher um, ls patches will give the existing patch list and also if I want to check the version of agent patcher, so I can do the same. Since we are, we have already downloaded the latest version, so we can you know try to check the version, but still it is like it is 19.13.9.5.4 uh, version, which is the expected version. If if you want to know like what is the minimum requirement for the agent patching that you can verify from the readme file. So readme file is uh, here we, where we can just go through the pre prerequisite part where it is mentioned like which uh, basically here we can uh, refer which version of your uh, what you call uh, agent patcher version is given here. So 19 dot sorry 13.9.5.4. So as if you compare it is matching with our version. So we can say like using this we can directly perform the patching okay so the agent patcher is in place now the next step will come like uh, we have to unzip the main patch okay, so up to this point everything is covered like we have unzipped the uh, agent patcher the next next step is to uh, prepare the system so basically the patch we need to unzip so we'll go to this path path is already set so we'll not repeat the same again uh, if you want just you know I'll run it one more time so this is done after that you can just uh, next step is to unzip the file so i'll just go to this location and unzip the main patch the agent patch that we have to apply so this is one of the patch so i'll just unzip this file so once the unzip is completed then we need to go to this main path location so while the agent is running we can just you know try to check what is analyze command. So analyze command basically what it does it will give you the verification uh, so that you uh, it will ensure like you can apply the patch or not. So the patch that we are trying to apply on the agent home it will verify the patch applicability. Okay. So it will just you know verify whether this patch is applicable or not you know, into the system. Okay, so it is still in the verification process. After this, we need to stop the agent home and then we have to apply the patch. So I hope you are understanding this part. If you have any confusion, you can always uh, reach me out on my email ID, contact numbers. And if you, if you are interested about any personal training, do reach me on the same numbers, uh, which is given in the uh, description. And also, if you are interested about our documents, please uh, check our website where you can get all the materials. So let's come back to the patching part again. So, I mean, this one, we need to first stop the agent. So as of now, agent was running. So we have to stop, sorry. So the location of uh, this one will be under the bin location. So I need to just modify the path. So agent. I'll update this document also. After this, we have to apply the patch. So the agent is down now. So we can start applying the patch. So agent patcher will apply the latest patch that we have downloaded. And after this, we need to start the agent. So this is very simple a process that you can follow to apply the patches on the agent. Oh. If you like this video, please do click on the like button and please share with your community so that most of the people will learn how to apply the patches or agent patches. So here it is asking to uh, proceed uh, further. So I'll give input as yes to, so that the patch can be applied. So
So now if you see this patch has successfully applied here. So few of the patches basically not applied and few of them are already got applied. So these are the patches which got applied which these are the incompatible patches which is not required and it so could not be applied during the action. So after this we can just you know proceed to the next step that is to start the agent. Lastly, we'll check the status of the agent. So verify the agent status. So agent is started up and running and next step is a verification of the patch. So verification of patch can be done using the agent patch or LS patches. So now if you see the status here, it says Oracle Enterprise Manager Platform Update uh, 10. Uh, sorry, that means release update 10 has been applied and uh, agent is successfully passed up. Okay. So this way, this is the simplest way of applying the patch on agent form. I hope you have understood this one. And with this, our today's agenda is completed, uh, like how to apply the OEM agent patch. And if you, so before I'll conclude this session, I'll request all our friends to do subscribe our channel. If you have any queries, please do reach me. If you want any personal training, please do reach me on this contact details, email IDs. And also you can enroll our courses, uh, our full course that we have previously also published like our Oracle DB ultimate full course, where you'll be learning a lot of uh, things uh, like uh, we, it, this course is basically designed from our, uh, I mean, uh, this has been this was a live session and you can just go through this course and also if you are interested about our documents and you can enroll and purchase from our website. And so let's stop this session here and we will meet in the next tutorial and I hope it is helpful. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Have a good day.